Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I have a Bolo video for you guys. These are Poshmark Bolos, and there is no clothing. Um, these are hard goods, like toys, um, ha like items in your home, things like that, um, that I sold on Poshmark. So if you are not taking advantage of Poshmark, in these categories other than clothing you should definitely think about it because there is definitely some money to be made so let's get started all right the first item let me get my screen share up is these earrings all right so these came out of my bulk buy i bought it on ebay to sell on ebay and i have a whole series on that and I wanna show you guys this picture right here because you can pick these up pretty cheap and it's great for showing the measurements. And I think I have a link down in the description and I bought it on eBay, it was super cheap. Um, and it's great for measuring small things because people always wanna know the dimensions and I cannot remember what this thing is called. But anyway, if you know, go ahead and throw it in the comments cause I know somebody knows. Um, so this was a major bread and butter item. I sold these for $12. They are Park Lane. They're marked right here on the back. And um, with Poshmark, the buyer pays the shipping unless I send out an offer. Um, and then I can do discounted shipping. I think I may have even done discounted shipping on this one. But the thing to look at is these are even missing the backs and they still sold. So um, yeah, jewelry can sell for sure. All right, the next item I sold, let me go over here and just make sure. Yep, okay. The next item I sold are these vintage 1986 Wendy's fur skins, I think is they're called. They're bears and they're plush and they're from Wendy's. And I picked these up at a garage sale. I think they were 50 cents each. So I had about a dollar 50 in these. I knew they were gonna be bread and butter, but um, they sold. And I do have a whole video dedicated to fast food items that you can purchase to resell. And you see these all the time at garage sales. Most of them are going to be bread and butter, but they do sell you guys. Um, but some of them are big money. So definitely go check out that video. The next item I sold is this spinner ring. It's tricolor. And basically it's one of those rings where the ring you have this base ring and then the rings that go around it and they spin you can kind of play with them and this actually sold like to somebody in probably within five to ten minutes from my house so i thought that was really random and strange um that's probably the closest sale i've ever had however i did sell a pair of jeans the other day on ebay to somebody and i actually just dropped them off at their house so kind of fun this is another thing you can buy, and I don't think I have a link for it, but it's a, um, a ring measuring uh, tool, and it's great for showing the, the size of the ring. So if you're going to sell jewelry, definitely these little things to help um, with photos and stuff are great. And you can see here how I have the white background. I recently did a video on how I get that white background also. So this ring, I believe, was a part of my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay, and I sold this for $30. The next item I sold is a bundle. All right, so the shoes are the Fry shoes, and these are clogs, size seven and a half. I picked these up at a garage sale. I want to say they were $5. The Victoria's Secret Pink Plush Dogs, I got at a garage sale. I bought a whole bunch of them, and I paid one price for all of them, so I probably have a couple bucks in those. And then the Hummingbird came from my I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay jewelry lot and somebody bundled these together and I was asking what 30 60 80 I was asking $92 and they offered me 65 and I took it so um I always inflate my prices so that people can make me offers or that I can so that I can send offers but $65 um Poshmark took 13 so my earnings on this were 52 and I probably had $8 in all three of these items. So still great margins. The next item I sold came from my Dibble box that I bought from Donatella Bottolino. And if you guys have not seen that video, you have definitely got to go check out 
this dibble box that I bought at her YouTube auction. Oh my goodness. Um, I bid on it. She was having an auction and she was sharing the items and I bid and I got bid up to $110. So if you want to see what else was in that box and how much I expect to make at the end of the video, I show you all of the listings. I think I've already sold like seven or eight items. So this sold for $21 and I believe um, they made me an offer on this. So they did not get discounted shipping. The next item I sold is another uh, bundle. And I was so happy to sell this bundle, not because it was big money, but just because they were small, random things that have been sitting in my closet for a while. The Easter Bunny pin and the Angel pin I picked up at a garage sale a long time ago. Um, and the St. Patrick's Day was also from a garage sale. I would say I probably have less than a dollar in all three of these items total. I sold them for $22. Poshmark took $3.96 and my profits were $15.84. So was this a big money bundle? No, but these items were super cheap, easy to find, easy to list, and I made a decent profit. The next item I sold is this vintage Tigger plush stuffed animal, and he is 26 inches. He is a big dude. Um, with stuffed animals, I typically will tape my tape measure and show a photo like this so that people can actually see the measurements. And I picked this up at a garage sale. I believe it was $2 if I remember correctly. It might've been three. And I sold this for $58 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold came out of a mystery box. And this is a Cincinnati Bengals Santa hat and it's got the logo and it sold for $22 and the buyer paid the shipping. The next item is another waxing poetic. Um, it's a letter charm that came out of my dibble box. And this one sold for $23. And I was trying to figure out what letter this was. And I think it's an S. But let me know in the comments what you guys think. I was like, is it an S? Is it an L? Is it a P? Like, I don't know. So I went with S. And you can see right here, it is marked on the back with WP, which is um, waxing poetic. And then it says 925. And I think there were seven of these in my dibble box. The next item I sold is this Kate Lord pink hat. Um, this is not something that I would have picked up. Um, it actually came in, I don't know if you guys remember the I Got It Free garage sale. I went to the garage sale and everything was free. I loaded up my vehicle. Um, definitely go check out that video if you haven't seen it because it was a gold mine. I have made so much money and everything was free. But I wouldn't have got this because it says 2016 and I just wouldn't have picked it up. So it just goes to show that um, I don't know everything. I sold this for $12 and I listed it because I got it free. The next item I sold is this Josie Marin. And this came in a makeup lot from a thrift store. Again, probably not something that I would have paid for and picked up and bought, but because it came in a lot of makeup items, I went ahead and listed it. And it sold, it sold pretty quickly and I sold it for $12 and it's a retractable face brush. So it um, it's like travel, it's great for travel. So the next item I sold is this protective hard hat. And honestly, I'm not sure this might have been the I got it free garage sale also. Um, if not, it was a garage sale. I don't recall. Um, but it says Bob. <laughs> and somebody just put that on there. And I'm guessing like a kid was pretending like they were Bob the Builder. But it's from 1986. And I just went ahead and listed it and it actually sold for $18. The next item I sold, um, these are bead makers beads like so jewelry makers. Um, people who make like earrings and necklaces and stuff like that. I picked these up at a garage sale last summer and I listed them during quarantine and I sold so many so fast, but these were kind of lingering and somebody just bundled these and they offered me $30 and I went ahead and took it. You can see I had it priced much higher than $30, but I, the, the lot that I had bought was so big and it has like paid for itself. I don't know how many times. So I was like 30 bucks. Posh took six. I'm in 
the green for $24. I went ahead and took it. The next item I sold is this Fisher Price Loving Family Dollhouse lot. So somebody came in and they um, bundled all of these items. And I picked these up at different places. Um, and I've, I've had some of them listed for a while. Some of them uh, I just listed and they kind of just built their lot. So they uh, offered me $150 for all of these items. And Poshmark took 30 and they did ask me to discount the shipping. So I discounted the shipping and my earnings on this was $117.88. Um, I'm not sure what I had in all of this because again, I buy bundles of this of toys and then I just sell them individually. It's a lot more work and a lot of them are bread and butter, but times like this, when somebody makes a nice big bundle, it's a score for sure. The next item I sold is this cat's meow lot. Um, it's from the eighties. These are older. Uh, it's a lot of five and I sold these for $28 and the buyer paid shipping. These are from my cat's meow lot. So I probably have maybe a dollar in all of these and the buyer paid the shipping. And here's another cat's meow. So again, maybe a dollar or two in all of it. And somebody offered me $32. And again, you can see I had it listed for 53. They offered me 32. I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to take it. Poshmark took $6.40 and my earnings were $25.60 and um, the buyer paid the shipping on that. The next item I sold is this Vintage Avon Good Habit Rabbit Hairbrush Comb Set. This came from a garage sale. If I remember correctly, it was $0.50 cents, and I sold it for $15 and the buyer paid shipping and that is from 1981 and it is new old stock. So there are still some big money Bolo Avon items out there. I do have a video on that. And I also have a video on new old stock items to be on the lookout for. So definitely go check out those category videos. The next item I sold is this PJ Masks cat car, three figures, and it's got Catboy, Gecko, and Owlet. And they come out of the vehicle. And these came from a garage sale. And... I always pick up toys like this at garage sales. Um, I think these were garage sales. These may, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was garage sale, but I sold this for $28 and um, the buyer paid the shipping. The next item I sold came from a garage sale. I think it was either 25 cents or 50 cents. It's a Ninja Turtles youth ball cap. And I sold this for $13 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold was this sticker fun Lisa Frank sticker book. Okay, you guys. So we've talked about a lot about Lisa Frank. And you can see this is from 1993. And here are the stickers. And it's like a sticker type book. But I think, um, I don't know if they're actually stickers or like you like lick them, like stamps. I can't remember. But um, this is what it looks like. And can, you can see here, this one has a little bit of damage. It says moisten and stick. Not sure how sticky they will be due to age. So yeah, they're the type that you lick. So yeah, I sold this for $34 and the buyer paid the shipping. I believe this was from a garage sale. The next item I sold is this puppy surprise, Sugar and her three pups. So if you guys haven't seen these, the pup has a opening in the bottom. And when you purchase this new, you don't know how many pups are going to come inside. So it's called puppy surprise. But this one had three pups. And I have sold probably four or five of these before. So definitely be on the lookout. They're not like a huge bolo, but um, it depends. There are different ones. So definitely look them up. But this one sold for $22. The next item I sold is this um, lot of, it's a doorknob cover, a felt jeweled uh, Bucilla craft kit, and then a felt tree skirt craft kit. This one came out of a mystery box, and I think I got this at a garage sale. This one took a while to sell. This one sold pretty quickly. Uh, the bundle price was $83. Poshmark took $14.94, so my earnings on this were $59.76. And I probably had less than $2 total in the items. 
The next item I sold, I love this. I'm surprised it didn't sell sooner. Um, it's a vintage necklace. It's iridescent rainbow gold tone. It's really, really neat. It was lightweight, um, but it just had like this really different look to it. And I just thought it was really special, but nobody else did. <laughs> so um, I did end up finally selling it for $40 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this Dandy plush bunny rabbit costume head. I picked this up at a garage sale for $5 and it sold for $40. And let me see how I'm doing on time here. We are at, you know what? I am going to make that the last one. And I am going to do a separate video because we're already at 15 minutes. So these are my Poshmark bolos. No clothes. Um, I think there was one baby item in there. But it was just because it was a bundle. But definitely, definitely get those hard goods listed on Poshmark. Please let me know your experience with Poshmark down in the description or the comments section, like, are you primarily selling clothes? Does this make you want to branch out? Um, I don't know, leave me a comment. And I list all of my items from eBay to Poshmark using List Perfectly. And if you're interested in trying List Perfectly, you can get 30% off your first month with referral coupon code Bolo Buddies, and that's all one word. I have been using List Perfectly for, it's been over a year now. Um, if you have questions, feel free to put them in the comments or you can reach out to me on Facebook. I have a link down in the description of the video. All right, you guys, thanks for watching and have a great night.